fam, it's your girl Leah back again with another video. And today's video, as you can see from the title, is a video that I'm gonna address why I don't just wear my real hair. Now, this is a comment that I get on many a video, but I've been getting it more frequently very recently just because I have more content now where I do wear my hair out more. I'm on this phase and path now where it's a lot of protective styles, but sometimes I wanna lean into my silk presses or my wash and goes and those things. And when people see my hair out more now than they did probably six years ago, I get comments like this. I got both these comments in a four day period this week and I thought it was interesting. So I'd address it in today's video. So the first comment came yesterday, literally. Your natural hair looks great. Why do you do crochet? And a comment I got one day ago, your natural hair is so beautiful. If I had that kind of hair, I will never put fake one. Uh, I'm assuming they meant put fake hair in or put fake hair on top of it. I 100% understand that logic and I get a lot of pushback from people in the comments who even in this video are going to be like you don't need to worry about what other people think. It's your hair you can do what you want to do. When I get comments like this I 100% one take it as a compliment. Thank you. I appreciate it. I too like my hair and I laugh when people say well if I had that hair I would never crochet it up. I would always wear it out. You'd be surprised. Every Every year I typically make a video titled why you should do crochet hair all insert year. I did it for 2019, 2020, 2021 and I didn't do it in 2023 just because I feel like it gets very repetitive. I'm trying to convince you guys why you should give it a chance, why you should give it a chance this year and every year it does really good numbers but I'm like if I haven't convinced them yet what more can I say? But today's video, I'm going to tell you why I do it, why it works for me, even as somebody who I love my hair. I, again, I take every time you guys comment something like that as a compliment. I don't take it as a, I need to get on the defensive. I understand a lot of people wear their real hair. A lot of people try protective styles and up under that, sometimes people got hair down to their booties and they still will put a wig on top of it. So today's video, I'm going to give you 10 reasons why me, this is just to Leah, why Leah puts and braids down her real hair just to put fake hair on top of said real hair. And again, do not look at this video as I'm trying to justify myself or I'm trying to answer to people who question me wearing protective styles. It's not. It's to give you guys ideas that if you were thinking about or getting stressed out about wearing your hair all the time, the reasons why it makes more sense in my life. And I'm gonna start out, these reasons are in no particular order at all. They all tend combined to make the rationale for me. Number one is I've been natural since 2013. So this will make my decade. Last February made my decade since I had that creamy crack in my head. That's when it went cold turkey. I didn't transition the normal way where you do a big chop. I kind of transitioned where I let it grow out. And through natural progressions of trims and like small cuts, it eventually all came out. Now from 2013 to 2016, I was a heat trained natural. So my hair was always straight. It was always straight. And I never wore it curly even though I was natural. I got blowouts every two weeks on routine on regimen I in the lair would throw in some partial sew-ins as well but I was only straight hair but then when I would try to do a wash and go my hair would just not it wouldn't love it because it was used to being straight it loved being straight it was natural but my curls were not popping but I wanted the best of both worlds I wanted to have straight hair sometimes and then I wanted to have curly hair sometimes without the sacrificing of either like I wanted my silk presses to be silk press and laid and I want my curls to be curled and popping and when you go one route you kind of have to go all in really like it's hard to be super heat trained and have silk presses that last three weeks and can last through humidity and at the same time have curls that look like this. There's a duality between I'm gonna get a couple of weeks of wear out of this but I'm okay because I like this more, I like this version of me more. So one of the main reasons I transitioned into crochet hair was to, once your hair is heat trained, it's hard to go back. It's hard to revert back without taking some time away from the heat. And so the first few years of me getting crochet hair, which I started wearing crochet hair in 2016 it allowed my hair to take a break and it allowed my hair to be my hair that I have now that 
is really good when it's curly it's not so great when it's straight and I'm okay with that it's straight for as long as I need it to be straight which is usually like 72 hours I can get 72 hours of good wear and then it starts reverting and I'm fine with that but to get it to a place where my curls became curls popping I needed to lay off of it because my wash and goes would have kept looking like this this was a bad wash and go I couldn't have it was either I had to be straight or I had to be curly and my curly wasn't there so I had to keep going back to straight like I had to keep going back to straight so to get my hair to the health, to the curl pattern, to the consistency that it is now, I needed to stop touching it. Stop touching it. So that's number one. It was for me to stop touching my hair to let it get healthier. Number two, it's the unpredictability of my natural hair too. Like my curls do look good one day and then sometimes they look, you know, different. I do my week in my wash and go videos. If you've seen my week in my wash and go videos, it's where I wear my wash and go for a total week. And you see almost every single day of the week, your girl looks different. And then sometimes my wash and goes are not one size fits all, meaning not all my wash and goes come out the exact same. I don't know what it is. Sometimes I don't leave my conditioner in long enough. Sometimes I don't steam the way I do. But sometimes my wash and goes be playing in my face. It's like, girl, you didn't deep condition for the hours you needed. We're going to play with you. So it's unpredictable sometimes. And my wash days are usually Saturday and Sunday. Back in the day when I had to go in the office every day, on Monday, I can't take them chances with my hair to messed up over the weekend. Like, I got to go to work Monday through Friday. I knew that crochet hair was going to be consistent. This is what, two weeks in? I think we're two weeks post install I'm gonna look like this today tomorrow the next day the next day the next day the next like this is consistency whereas with my natural hair there's some variability and then there's a I'm gonna have to repeat the process because at day seven of a wash and go it looks a certain way we're gonna have to get back into the process wash again then do the process over again flexi rod perm rods braid outs twist outs all of that is the same and again my hair isn't heat trained so wearing my hair straight is rarely an option so it's really the unpredictability of my own hair which I love that it can be uh, crazy sexy cool all in one day really this allowed me to be on point with a consistent hairstyle number three low maintenance I'm a person who I've made so many videos where I'm like no maintenance low maintenance I'm not a person who loves maintenance if you follow my channel this should not be the first video of mine that you watch but if it is make sure you hit that subscribe button join the family you will know I like low maintenance and low maintenance doesn't mean I'm lazy. It means that I like to spend so much time doing other things that I have going on in my life, whether that be going to my nine to five, doing my Leah Levon channel things, whether that be my Etsy shop, whether that be spend time with family, whether that means spend time with friends, whether that means going out on dates. There are things in my life I want to spend time on. My hair needs to be the last thing that I need to be worried about. So crochet hair allows me again I do nothing this morning but put some edge control on and put some little little spritz of Hawaiian silky in there bada boom bada bang I'm out the door I don't want to spend a, a lot of time on this I want low maintenance now not every hair I try is low maintenance and that's why I have a review channel where I review different hair to see if they're low maintenance I want every hair that I try to be low maintenance if it's high maintenance you know how I'm gonna come on this camera I'm gonna be on this camera mad because I'm gonna try something where I done had to spend minutes a day now the biggest thing is cost this cost me only the cost of the hair whatever this was was it $24 $25 I bought four packs of this hair what $4.99 $5.99 a pack maybe this was what $24 $25 it's different if you pay somebody to do your crochet hair but they, they're still relatively inexpensive maybe $125 depending on where you are I'm going to say something that I've never said on camera before because I didn't want to be judged but I'm going to tell the truth right now I'm going to tell the truth um Tony who's my stylist who I love to death she has been my hairstylist since 2016 she was the shampoo person at my former stylist the stylist I had been going to since 2013 who told me I'm not doing a relax on your hair she was doing the shampoo bowls there in 2013 and then she went off and did her own thing in 2016 and I really vibed with her me and Tony had a good vibe so I said I hate to leave my current situation but I'm gonna go with her I'm gonna I'm gonna skedaddle with her. See you later. Now, I love Tony. Tony's grown and she has grown in her salon and so have her prices. Today's prices is not yesterday's prices and that's the model she lives by. As a sister, I recognize that. Get paid your worth, girl. Um, Her worth, um, I'm 
I'm going to assert the prices right now. This is um, existing client prices. These aren't even new client prices, which go up a bit if you're a new client. Um, about two fifty, about two fifty for a silk press. Two hundred and fifty dollars. When I had a car payment that was double my car payment. My car payment was what one eighteen. Double my car payment when I used to pay a car payment. About the price of a flight to Freer to JFK. JFK to here is usually what, 240, 275. It's a pretty cheap flight to American Airlines. Round trip. That's a round trip flight to New York. That's two car payments. That's a light bill and then some. And water and gas and trash can services. It's, it's a price. I never said it out loud because I was scared people were going to be judging me. But I, I pay for Tony because when I love Tony, when I love the way that she's been able to maintain my hair, I'm paying for one the love that she puts into my hair to the support somebody who I've been supporting for years. Again, it was it was like it was like eighty dollars back when I started. She she done raised it a bit. And imagine if I went every two weeks. I go to Tony maybe three times a year, three or four times a year. And I go during maybe January, February, maybe November, December when I know my hair can stay straight. My hair is not gonna stay straight during the summer. My hair is not gonna stay straight during the summer. I do not have heat trained hair. My hair can stay straight when the temperatures are 30, 40 degrees, 50 degrees. When we get to 70s my hair will balloon out of control. Step outside of this house my hair is ballooning. So I'm not paying 250 to have my hair last 250 minutes no so I will pay that because I need the trims I do need my trims bad like you've seen my hair when my trims when I go without my trims I need my trims I know somebody who's going to take care of my hair I'm not going to lose my curl pattern through her silk presses I know what I'm going to get I probably should have led the video with this I'm not spending 250 every two weeks no ma'am that's a thousand that's that's a thousand every two months <clears throat> not spending that and then some people could be like well you could just find somebody else who does it cheaper I'm not somebody who wants to play around with my hair I take this seriously I'm not shopping around on style seat for some stylist to read all through her notes to read all through this make a deposit she's not gonna text me the address to the day before she gonna be running 45 minutes late she not gonna like I'm not playing this game that these new age stylists got going on I'm going to get my silk presses four times a year. I'm going to do my crochet a majority of the time. And then I'm going to wear my natural hair out and embrace the naturalness. That one question where it's like, if I were you and I had your hair, I would never wear it down. When you see the prices of these hair salons now, you you might would think about it. You might be like, well, $30 don't seem half bad. Number five, swim lessons. You guys know I'm a little aerial now. If I see a pool, I'm getting in that pool. If I see any kind of body of water, I want to be in that body of water. I want to swim. I want to fluff, fluff. I want to spread my wings. It feels so liberating. Like something about being in the water feels so, I don't know. It's just, I just feel like I was meant to be a fish. If I was not a human, I'd, I really think I'd be a fish. I mean, I have a short shelf life and I would probably be on somebody's sushi platter later on, but it's something about the water just, it resonates with my soul. My real hair ain't surviving humidity. It ain't gonna survive water. You think about me dunking this beautiful mane, even with a swim cap. A swim cap isn't 100%. I don't know why people always say, you could wear your swim cap. Like, if I swim three days out of the week, one of them days, water gonna seep. Water seeps. Water se Like, no matter how tr good you try to be, and if you do swim at enough of a frequency, if you do it once or twice, maybe, just maybe, you'll be all right. But if you do it like me, that past summer, I was swimming every day after work, like three or four days out of the week, and then still going to swim lessons on Saturday. Like... I'm swimming a lot. It's not 100%. And so I'm not getting either one of these situations wet. I'm not doing that because the process we have after that, it's not good. I need a style that if I get this wet, like when I went snorkeling in this hair just a couple weeks ago, when I was swimming in a pool in this hair doing laps, and now I'm able to be back on camera with you guys one week later. You know, that's, that's not possible. Is it not possible with my real hair? And number six is really the whole point of this video. It's the length of retention and the growth. You guys compliment me on it. Oh, I love your hair. Oh, I love your hair. I'm telling you right now, it wouldn't be that way if I didn't do this. I've had a life before this where I didn't do protective styles and I wore my hair out all the time. I'm just hurting those pictures right now. This is me on a normal day. Hair was never braided down. Hair was never nothing. This was, I think these photos that I'm inserting right now, future me is inserting the photos. Now me doesn't know what photos I'm using, but I'm, I'm assuming these will be my college because that's the key time where I say, 
I wasn't doing a lot of braided styles. I was just doing my hair, manipulating it all the time, and it was out the most. My hair looked frazzled, dazzled, mcsnazzled, pazzled back then. Back then it was struggling, but I wore it out all the time. I wore it out. I was also relaxed at that time, too. My hair has never thrived when it was relaxed, and this is no knock to people who are relaxer people. I'm pro whatever. I'm not anti-relaxer. I'm not one of those people who are like, go natural or bust. I understand the need for relaxers. I understand what it does for people. I was a relaxer girl up until 2013, but my hair never progressed the way it should have when a relaxer. I might have been user error. Again, I was relaxed from the age of maybe, what, 8, not 10 to 23. So a lot of my years now me maybe would know how to manage a relaxer, but I, I just don't want one. But my hair was not retaining no length, wasn't growing, wasn't looking healthy, was looking bad. My hair was down real bad back then. Ponytails were not ponytailing the way that they could be. So for the length retention and the growth, everything you see on my channel can really be attributed to the crochet hair. If I had the hair like you, I would wear my hair out. What came first, the chicken or the egg? Is my hair like this and I wear crochet hair or is my hair like this because I wear crochet hair? And it's definitely the latter. The other reason why it's crochet hair and some not wigs or anything else is because the the ability to get to my scalp. I can get to my this is my scalp. Like this is me. And then I, I part right here. This this is still me. And then I can part right here. This is me. All of this is still my scalp. Like I have easy peasy access to my hairline. Who can hate that? Who can hate having easy direct access to my scalp? My scalp is scalping, my scalp is breathing, it's not suffocating. It's not suffocating sometimes the way that wigs can. Wigs can be very hot. They can feel very hot on you, especially if your scalp can't breathe and you feel like when you get home you're gonna rip it off because child, let my hair, let my hair meet the elements. My hair is always meeting the elements. It's always outside. I always gets that vitamin D penetrating in from the sun because it's out and about. Number eight, the length of time that you're in a chair to get this done. You're in a chair for what, seven, eight hours getting some knotless medium braids, small braids, micro braids, I don't know. Whatever purse people are getting, it seems like they be in a chair for a long time with like multiple people in their heads. I ain't had that experience and probably, I don't know, pre Two, maybe 2009, 2010 was my last time sitting and going into a braid shop. However, the length of time that you have to spend doing this is way less than when I do a wash and go. It's probably equivalent to how long it takes for my silk press. Tony takes a, a good time with the shampoos and the condition. She does a lot of good work in that span of time. Like I, I walk out of there feeling like I had an experience. But that same experience and length of time is the same time it takes me to do this too. And this lasts me longer. Again, I walk out of Tony's salon looking like, wah, wah, looking great. And them curls be done, drop it, drop, dropped it on down the next day. This, I'm going to look the same tomorrow, the way I did yesterday, the way I did two weeks ago, the same way I will two weeks from now. Number nine, they look natural looking over time. Like, look, again, I went swimming. It looks so natural. I was on Instagram and I saw this video. So it was on the protective styles page that I follow. And you'll see a woman who's like, seemingly cutting her hair and then braiding her hair down and then sewing in some hair. So she's doing a sew in. So she cut hair at the beginning. When I tell you them comments were hilarious to me. Somebody said she cut all her hair off just to get weave that looks just like hers. That comment has 277 likes. Somebody else said this was so stupid. She cut her hair off to put the same back in just another color. This is crazy. I was looking and now I'm thinking that wasn't her hair after all. But if it was, that's stupid. And there were a bunch more. A lot of people deleted some of their comments after people were gathering them because a lot of other comments were saying things like, y'all are real stupid if y'all think that's her real hair. Or can y'all not tell what a crochet hair is? Are y'all, like this post had a lot of engagement with people who were like, are y'all really, tell me better. We gotta do better, our people. How could you not tell? As soon as I saw the video start, I was like, okay, she's cutting out a crochet hair. I didn't think there was no if, ands, or buts about it until I read the comment section and I was floored. Like somebody commented and was like, these comments are sending me right now. They were sending me about how many people were up in arms. And then even one person commented and said, even if she was cutting her own hair to braid down and put in another hair, what's the problem? It's her hair. Again, the, the point of this video, again, I don't want to be lost. We can do anything we want with our hair. 
there's no, we don't need to justify anything. But her justification was she was putting in a hair. I followed this young lady after the fact too. The person who Protective Styles reposted, follow her. She is in Brazil. I was looking at all her posts and I realized they weren't in Spanish because I understand and could read Spanish. It was in something different. I realized they were Portuguese. So all her posts are in Portuguese, but her hair is still beautiful nonetheless. Like follow her. You can translate instagram captions follow her for her styles because her crochet styles are impeccable the brazilian market has a whole line of crochet here that i would love to get my hands on brazil is one of the top i think outside of the u.s countries outside of the u.s and the caribbean where i see people embrace crochet hair in a way that is so good so good but nonetheless i say that to say how natural crochet hair looks i say that to say this post where this girl is literally cutting out crochet hair people are fighting the air about what this woman is doing with her hair and not realizing she's cutting out crochet hair it looks so natural if you choose the right hair i think i have a video on this channel titled the most natural looking crochet hair and the point of that is to show you hair that looks like your own hair. To show you hair that could be fooling people. Fooling people. That's what we want to do. We want to fool people where people are up in their arms and thinking. I want to start a video like that one day where I'm like cutting and then I put in another hair on top of this and then people be mad at me. That's a good clickbait thing to do. Like people could see me doing like this and be like, she cut her hair. I loved that thread. But again, crochet hair looks so natural. And I love the natural look of it. If you choose right here, some hair looks very unnatural. And sometimes we love the unnatural. And the final reason, number 10, why I love crochet hair so much is that it allows me to play around with color. Throughout my life, I have been a, either my hair is black, 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 or it is in its current stage, which has been like for a few years, uh, which is that 30 color. So my, my hair, I dye it my little box dye you've seen me dye my hair on this channel i used to go to tony but the dye price if you go get your hair dyed i think that starts at 350 price if i wanted her to dye my hair is a little bit more uh, so again going back to that cost point uh why why this might be the best method for me however it allows me to play around with colors outside of my black when i'm black and outside of when i'm this sometimes i want to be 27 sometimes i want to be a brighter 30 sometimes i want to have an ombre effect like without letting my own hair grow out i want an ombre effect i tend to really love an ombre if it's done right but it allows me to play with colors it allows me to play with curl patterns it allows me to go from straight to curly to super curly to long to short length variations it allows me to play in a way i don't gotta play about my real hair again that woman wanted to go from hair that looked like her own hair looked beautiful all her hair looked very beautiful but uh she could play with this she could look like this one day or this one day or this one day or this one like, these are all posts from her page she's playing around with colors she's playing around with looks who doesn't want to play around a bit we as people as black women we are so creative. It's a form of expression for us. And if anything, that's kind of what today's video is about. It's because I get to be all these different people and I get to express myself outside of just wearing different clothes or wearing different shoes or painting my nails a different color or whatever the case may be. Putting on different makeup, different lipsticks, different earrings. Hair is just a different. It's a different. I could wear my hair out all the time, but for all the reasons I listed, I just don't want to. I just don't want to and if any of these reasons resonated with you and you're like I don't want to either and if none of these reasons don't resonate with you and you're like I still want to do it that's my answer point blank period I wear my hair protected in a wig in crochet braids in box braids in locks in mini twists in all of these styles because I want to that's fine too and if you enjoyed today's video make sure you give it a big thumbs up even if you didn't still give it a big thumbs up we want all the love and support over here on this channel that's what this channel is about love and support make sure you're also subscribed to the channel so you don't miss anything I do have that notification bell on so you extra you got an extra security that you won't miss anything make sure you're following me on Instagram at leolavana89 so you can keep up with me in a real time tiktok at leelavon which is sometimes a bit more real time and i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye